today we will start the topic electric drive so what is an drive in we know that in industry as well as in our day to day life motion control is required in several applications like fans pump robot washing machine etc the system through which this motion control is achieved is known as drive so what is an drive a system a system through which we can achieve motion control the drive can be mechanical as well as electric in our topic it is electric drive so when this motion motion control is achieved by an electric motor by an electric motor this is known as electric drive the electric motor can be dc as well as ac now we will understand the working of an electric drive with the help of a block diagram suppose we have a motor which is driving a load and between the motor and the load there will be some transmission mechanism transmission mechanism such as gears pulleys etc these are used for converting rotational motion of the motor into linear or sometimes to match the speed of the load for simplicity these are not shown here now we have a fixed source which is driving this motor this is source which is driving this motor now the problem is that this source is fixed either it can be dc or ac generally in india it is a 50 hertz ac source now we cannot give this source to the motor directly because we we want to vary the speed of the motor or its torque or its uh, characteristic according to our requirement so what we will do we will use an power modulator in between the source and the motor this power modulator will take the supply from the source which is fixed and then modulate it according to the requirement of the load and give it to the motor suppose we are going in an electric vehicle and we want to change the speed of the car the speed the change of speed of the car is done by this power modulator the power modulator will not automatically change the speed of the car for which we have to give some command to the power modulator and it is done by a control circuit by a control circuit here there will be two input one will be reference input which we will give to the control circuit and other will be a feedback from the load through a sensing element now this sensing element will sense various parameters like speed torque etc and give it to the control circuit we will compare it with the reference input which we have given and give command to the power modulator we should then modulate the source supply according to the requirement of the motor this whole system is known as electric drive thank you